Exactly. Yes. All right. I have seen every episode of Grey's Anatomy. That is a lot of hours you that have? I've I've seen every episode. That's so many. It's just so many hours that I've dedicated yeah. to this cast and this show and to Amelia's journey. Let's talk about the 400th episode. What can we expect? Where is Amelia? Kai? Yeah. Ooh, I don't want to spoil it. I'm not sure what has aired so far. Let's see. We're not sure what is going to happen in her romantic life. And so there's a bit of, there is there is some uncertainty and perhaps tragedy. We're not sure. We don't know what's going to happen. What about the finale? I've heard that it's jaw-dropping, that it's shocking, that it's something we've never seen before. How would you describe it? I would say that if it wasn't all of those things, that would be the most jaw-dropping thing to ever. <laughs> Ever happen in Shondaland. I feel like I feel like every episode it's like it's so jaw dropping. Yeah. Are you ever actually surprised when you read these scripts? Sometimes. I will say it's so funny because when we're in the Zoom, because we do Zoom table reads now because of COVID, and so you actually see all of the squares with all of the people's faces. Usually you're at a table read and they're like kind of far away there at the table. But on Zoom, when something big happens in the script and you actually see everyone's little square going, <laughs> and the tears. Oh, yeah. People cry during yes. those? Oh, all the time. Who's the biggest crier? This is a good, this is a good tidbit. I think it's, it's me. <laughs> I think that, yeah, no, actually, they actually did like a little, um, a little segment on one of our like box sets and everybody was asked who the biggest crier was and it was me. <laughs> what makes you cry the most? I, I just like, I guess you just feel for the characters, like the situations. If you actually imagine this happening to a person, it's awful. Like so many of the, it's heartbreaking. I'm like a, just like the fans watching. Like I'm, I'm reading the script and you play like the movie of it in your head as you're reading the script. So you cry just like the audience would cry. Do you think you have to go to season 20? I mean, I don't, I don't see any signs of the fans piecing out. I feel like, I only feel there being like a kind of, I think because of the pandemic, everybody was like in their houses. And so people are like, what am I going to do here? Yes. And, and then people who hadn't seen it decided to like start at the beginning. And so there's almost like a pitch and a fervor about it right now that feels big. And so I can't imagine that we would really that we would be done after one season who knows what about more spin-offs i mean private practice was yeah. done station 19 are there more chatter more talks about that i mean people keep things they keep the cards close so we wouldn't know but i think there are so many interesting characters all throughout the world of Grey's anatomy that i would watch any spin-off of any of my friends <laughs> on this show. <laughs> what about, how does Japril shake things up in the finale? We know that they're back. They are back. Um, I mean, I have I have a scene with uh, Sarah Drew that is probably my favorite scene. Yeah, well, <laughs> um, maybe one of, well, there's a bunch of good scenes. There's a lot of good scenes. But one of my favorite scenes in the finale is with Sarah Drew in the ER. And um, yeah, it's just really beautiful. And it was so fun to have her there. And like, she's just such a great actor and her heart is like, just so big and golden. And so anytime you get to work with her, it's just really beautiful stuff happens. Well, thank you so much. I got tapped, but I appreciate it. And enjoy tonight. 400 is a big deal. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.